Welcome back everyone my name is Abdullah Ghori and in this video we will play an interesting game to learn CSS Flexbox. In previous video we have talked about what is Flexbox and how we can design flexible and responsive layout using Flexbox. In this video we will play a game called Flex Froggy which will teach us how we can use Flexbox. How we can design the Flexbox, how we can use the different properties of Flexbox to make our responsive design. So first of all you have to open up your browser depending upon you you can open up any browser you have to type flex froggy here you will see a link flexboxfroggy.com if you click here it will open up this game I will reset this game so let's start this game and try to complete all 24 levels right there and as in your assignment you also have to do so you also have to play this game and you have to complete 24 levels so you can get a deep understanding of flexbox so let's try to play and win this game so first of all this is the first question so let's read the welcome message so they are saying welcome to flexbox froggy a game where you help froggy and friends by writing css code guide this frog to the lily pad on the right by using the justify content property which aligns item horizontally and accept the following values so they are saying we have to use justify content property and these are the values that justify content property can accept we can say flex start it means it will align the items to the start or to the left side of the container flex end item align to the right side of the container center item align at the center of the container space between item display with equal spacing between them space around item display with equal spacing around them and we also have space evenly item will get even space for left side and the right side now here they are giving us an example so we can write this one we have to say justify content so here I will say justify content if I say flex end the frog is moved to its lily pad so we have successfully completed first round we will hit enter now this is the second round that we get here we have to move these frogs to their lily pad so here we will use again the justify content property so I will say justify content and here I will say center to move them to the center because we have to move them on the lily pad now here is the interesting part now this time we have to use the justify content property but we have to move all the frogs to their lily pad you have to keep in mind that every frog should be moved to their own lily pad so here I will use the justify content property again here we have to say space around if I say space around we have successfully completed that round as well hit enter we will go to the next round now in this round what we have to do we have to move them to their lily pad again now this time it seems quite difficult so let's say justify content again this time let's try to do center okay we only got the yellow frog at their lily pad okay let's try justify content space around okay they are missing a little space okay let's try space between okay we got answer so we have to say justify content space between they will get the space in between them and the frog will be moved to their lily pad okay now we have to use the align item property so the align item property will help you to align the items vertically and the property will accept these arguments flex start flex end center baseline and stretch now first of all I will say align items center so item becomes center now we have to move them at the end of the container so we will say flex end you can see the frogs are moved to their lily pad now here we have to use two properties so here I will say first of all I want to justify the content to the center okay now we have to move them vertically center 
so I will say align item center we have successfully moved the frog to their lily pad okay now this time we have to use two properties again so here first of all I will say align the items to the flex end okay this time we have to justify the content so they will have the space around so we'll say justify content space around so we have successfully passed this round as well now this time it introduced another property which is flex direction so this property defines the direction of the items that will be placed and it accepts the following arguments or the properties or the values which is row, row reverse, column and column reverse. This time we have to say flex direction and let's try to say column. No, column will be in the column wise. So what we want, we want row. By default we have row but we want the order should be in the reverse. So we'll say row reverse. We have successfully completed this round as well. So here, the by default, we are getting them in the row, but we have to move them in a column wise. So we'll say the flex direction, change the flex direction to the column. So simple. Okay, now we have to put two properties here. The first property, is flex direction so if I say flex direction row reverse they will be in the reverse row now I have to align these frogs horizontally so I will use justify content property and I will say they should be in flex end so because the flex is starting from the right hand side the end will be on the left hand side so that's why we have said flex end now here we have to use two properties again so we will say flex direction column okay now see when we have the flex direction as column this time justify content will not align them horizontally now this justify content will align them in vertical order so here we can say justify content flex end okay after that we have another the same scenario here so we'll say flex direction column justify content space between so they will be moved to their lily pad but this time we have moved all the frogs to lily pad but not to their lily pad now what we have to do we just have to reverse the order of our flex direction so we say flex direction column reverse hit enter go to the next round so we are on the 13th round and here we have to use justify content align item and flex direction okay this become now a bit difficult so first of all I will say justify content center they become center I will say align item flex end okay the last thing that I have to do is flex direction so I will say flex direction should be row reverse we have successfully completed this round as well now we have to change the order now see sometime reversing the row or column order of a container is not enough in these cases we can apply the order property to individual items by default item have a value of zero but we can use this property to also set it to a positive or negative integer value so you can say 0 negative 2 negative 1 1 or 2 so here we only need to say that order 
now what we want to do we are targeting the yellow class and we want to change its order to the right hand side for that we have to say one okay when you want to move any item to the right hand side you will say one and if you say negative one they will be moved to the left hand side so we are moving the yellow color to the right hand side so we say order one now this time we have to move the red color so our red should be moved to the left hand side so we will say order minus one we have successfully done this thing this is so simple now let's move to the 16th round and here we have to use align self align self accept the same values as align item but it will use to align the individual element or the individual item so i will say align self and flex end after that it will be on its lily pad so here we have to use the combination of order and align self to help the frogs to their destination now how we can use them so first of all the first thing that we have to use we have to say align self now we have to move them to the bottom so we say flex end we have did now the order should be one so they will move to the right hand side so that's all that we have to do simple but it is the game of the mind oh no the frogs are all sequenced onto a single row of lily pad separate them out using the flex wrap property which accept the following values no wrap every item is fit to a single line wrap item wrap around the additional lines wrap reverse item wrap around additional line in reverse order so what we have to do we have to say flex wrap wrap means when the space is completed they will be moved to the next line so we'll say flex wrap wrap so if you say flex wrap wrap the two extra item will be moved to the next line simple now this time we have to use flex direction and flex wrap so first of all you guess it right that we have to say we have to say flex direction so what we have to do here we have to change the direction as column great now flex wrap we want that the extra should be moved to the next lines so here we can say flex wrap should be wrap that's all that we have to do we are about to complete this game only the five rounds are remaining we are on the 10th round if you haven't liked this video do like it so it will help us to grow now what we have to do here the two properties flex direction and flex ramp are used so often together that the short property is flex flow was created to combine them this shorthand property accept the value of one of the two property separated by a space for example you can say flex flow row and ramp to set row and ramp them try flex flow to repeat the previous level now here we say flex flow now let me explain it first in the flex flow you can provide two values the first will be for the flex direction and the second for the flex ramp so here what we have to do the flex direction we want is column so we say column so they will be in column and then the flex ramp we want ramp so we can say ramp so in one line we can do the same thing of two lines so this is the shorthand form now the frogs are separated all over the pond but the lily pad are bunched at the top you can use a line content to set how multiple lines are separated apart from each other this property takes the following values flex start flex end center flex space between space around and stretch you know i don't need to explain what these values mean you know now so what we can do we can use a line content property here so what we have to say you guess is right we have to say flex start now after that we have to come here now the current has bunch the lily pad at the bottom use a line content to guide the frogs there so we say a line content and flex end 
so we have moved the frogs to their lily pads now the second last round is here the frogs have had a party but it is time to go home use a combination of flex direction and align content to get them to their lily pads now we have to use flex direction first the flex direction should be column okay align content so align content should be center simple but we are getting another thing the column should be in a reverse order that the thing that we are missing hit enter now we are on the last and the final round so there is a lot that we have to do now the first thing that we want we want to change the direction so we use flex flow now so we say flex flow direction we want as column and we also want the rep create but we want that to be in the reverse order okay and we also want the rep should be reverse we have did a lot of things in just one line now what we have to do we have to move these yellow frogs to the right hand side so we want this space should be in between of these frogs and of these frogs so for that you know we can use align content property so we say align content space between so we have moved them now here the last thing that we have to say is justify the content to the center and that's all that we have to do now you can see here by using the shorthand form we have done the job in only the three lines which can be done in four lines so the shorthand form becomes really helpful for us so we don't have to do this in four lines we just did in only three lines so that's how you can play this game i hope you have enjoyed this game as well i enjoy a lot to play this game i have learned a lot from this game when i was learning flexbox so flexbox froggy will help me really well this game is really helpful for beginner to learn about flexbox and the properties of flexbox i really encourage you to play this game and complete all 24 rounds and after that comment down below that you have successfully completed the flexbox froggy game if you stuck anywhere you can watch this video and learn how you can win this game make sure to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so you get notification whenever we upload any new video to our channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video